Hello, it's thundering right now and I love it. Oh my god, it's so good. I love when it rains outside. And today we're going to be doing a cottage. And if this isn't cottage, cottage core, then I do not know what is. This is a actual cottage that I'm going to be building. And it's right next to my house, but my house is going to be moved in the end. So basically I'm putting these panels and I'm going to be making that the structure of the house. So it's going to be only four panels that's going to make the cottage look. So yes, I'm putting those and yeah. Thank you guys for um, allowing me to reach 800 subscribers. We are almost at a thousand and that will be a huge milestone. But for now we are at 800 subscribers and I just want you guys to know that feel free to subscribe if you would like. It really does help me out. It supports me and it's free to subscribe and you can always change your mind later. But yeah, it really does support me and I really appreciate it. So just hit the subscribe button if you would like to. And I'm putting the stalls on the back and that's the roof of the cottage. And I'm moving everything so that I can actually fit trees behind everything because I don't want it to just be in front of the ocean. I want it to actually have trees behind it so I have to make space for trees behind there. And I'm actually putting the pathway down. So I wanted there to be a walkway. First I'm putting this welcome mat, which is really, really beautiful. And I'm going to be making a walkway toward, towards the house. Is anyone doing a summer island? Because that would be amazing, like a tropical island. I want to know if anyone's doing that theme. So just comment below. I really love that theme. It's just so relaxing and it's perfect for right now. I really love that. And I wanted to add the simple DIY workbench to be a decoration piece because it feels like these the people who live in cottages are very crafty and they do they like to DIY things a lot and they just need something to some place to work on. So I gave them that little working bench. I think it looks really really cute because it is a stump. So yeah, I actually have never upgraded my stump to be like the the actual workstation like the wood one that's like like nicer but i just love how cute that stump looks so i never really i never upgrade upgraded um to a better workstation but it just looks amazing still and i added the mailbox which is actually a tiny library it looks really good it actually really looks like a mailbox so that's their mail that the um people receive that's where they get the mail And I'm 
actually putting a pumpkin patch because they are going to be growing pumpkins in front of their house. I really love pumpkins and I've never used them, so I was like, we need to at least put some pumpkins here because they have a pumpkin farm. So yes, I love that. Those pumpkins look so good. I wish we had more vegetables. If I had to pick like which vegetable I would like to add in the game, like Animal Crossing needs to add probably some carrots. I would love to have carrots. Um, carrots. What about some potatoes? That would be really, really nice. Tomatoes. I like that. Yes, I would just like some more. You know what? That's actually a pretty good idea. For the new update, they could add some more like farming stuff like vegetables and mm, they don't need to add more fruits I feel like we already have fruits so they could definitely add some vegetables and then they could add like a bunch of like recipes that we can actually cook things that would be really cool and maybe if you like eat one of the recipes that you make then it gives you like so much energy that would be something that they could do an update that has cooking and yeah, that sounds really good. I'm actually adding the trees now. And I'm getting the bushes and flowers to put everywhere. I actually wanted the area to have a bunch of different colored flowers because it looks whimsical and I never put like a bunch of flowers. I usually stick to one color, but I just wanted like multiple flower colors. And yeah, so I brought a bunch of, of different colors. And now it's time to time travel. Yes, we are time traveling time traveling so that the pumpkins can grow. Yeah, here I am. Time traveling. Oh my gosh, is that Sherb? What? He's on my island? What? I never knew that he was on my island. Sherb's on my island? Oh my god, Isabel's here? Do you guys hear the thunder? Oh my goodness, it's the next day. And as you can see, the pumpkins are not grown in yet. So it's time to time travel again. Let's time travel again, again, and again again and again let's go let's see if the pumpkins grew this time comment below what you think the pumpkins did do you think the pumpkins grew this time or do you think that they still didn't grow yet please comment down below and let's see if you were right let's see if your guess was right about the pumpkins Here are, oh, wait, here is the end result. I like it a lot. It looks really good. I love the pumpkins, actually, and I love the envelopes on the floor. 
And it's very simple to do this. All you need is four panels to make the cottage. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I actually made a cottage on my cottage core island. And if you have a cottage core island, it's hard to say cottage core. But if you do, um, make a cottage. Anyways, like and subscribe. And yeah.